I confirm today that I have requested the Chief Constable to investigate a range of potential offences which relate to the alleged activities of an agent commonly known as Steak Knife. I have requested that two separate investigations be carried out. The first will be an investigation of broad scope. This will seek to examine the full range of potential offences that may have been committed by this individual. It will also include an investigation of any potential criminal activity that may have been carried out by security service and intelligence personnel. At this point, it may be helpful to provide some background to this decision. I have recently been made aware of the scope and range of possible offences that may have been carried out by this individual. This information has been made available to me by the Office of the Police Ombudsman and Dr Maguire himself, where, it, where they are now concluding a painstaking review of all material emanating from the three investigations carried out by Lord Stevens into allegations of collusion. In addition, the Attorney General of Northern Ireland, John Larkin QC, has also recently been in contact with my office to inquire about what action the Prosecution Service may take in relation to a particular murder. This case also potentially implicates the same agent. In the light of this information, I concluded that I must exercise my power to request that the Chief Constable investigate these matters, which may involve offences committed against the law of Northern Ireland. I did so on August the 11th, 2015. Before putting this information into the public domain, I have considered a separate but related matter which came to my attention as part of my review of all papers relevant to this information held by the Public Prosecution Service. I have identified one case where I consider that there is now sufficient information available at this point to review a prosecutorial decision. This relates to a case involving an allegation of perjury committed in 2003. I have serious concerns in relation to this decision. Having reviewed all of the available evidence, I consider that the original decision did not take into account relevant considerations and also took into account irrelevant factors. I have concluded that the original decision was not within the range of decisions that could reasonably be taken in the circumstances and this decision has been set aside. In, in accordance with our code for prosecutors, I have asked that the Chief Constable provide further materials so that the matter may be reconsidered. I made this request formally yesterday. The terms of each of these investigations have been referred to the Police Ombudsman, Dr Michael Maguire, so that he can consider if any further investigation into the actions of police should take place.